Imagine being able to operate your PC with your eye. Well, a young startup company called iTech Digital Systems Incorporated says that it has a product that can do just that. The company is a high-tech computer hardware and software developer that integrated eye tracking technology into a practical and affordable consumer alternative to existing products. A unique assistive technologies device called Quick Glance is an alternative to the PC mouse or trackball. It moves the cursor according to the user's eye movements. How does it work? Lisa Ochtenhagen tells us how. A sophisticated camera mounted on your computer's monitor focused on the user's eye is how this device works, Mark. And its unique software, Quick Glance, determines where the user's eye is looking. Mouse clicks are done with a slow eye blink, an eye dwell, or a hardware switch. Can you explain to us exactly how this works? Yes, when you're using the system, it appears that the computer can, use your, can read your mind. The cursor is moving on the screen wherever you're looking. The camera is uh, capturing images of your eye at about 10 to 20 times per second. These are processed in our software to determine the gaze point and then the cursor is moved there. Quick Glance allows the paralyzed person complete access to their computer and they can communicate with their computer when combined with communication software. They could have the computer speak for them by simply looking at an icon or typing out words and having the computer speak those words. Also, they can communicate through typing letters and email. We've heard you talk about Quick Glance. Does it give complete access to using a computer? Quick Glance provides complete access to computer operating. It is acting like a mouse. So anything you can do with your mouse, you can do with your eyes. And can you type words and sentences by just using your eyes? When combined with an on-screen keyboard, which is a piece of software which has a picture of your keyboard on the screen, you can type just by looking at the letters and clicking with a blink or with dwelling on the letter and you can type word sentences, you can have the computer speak those words and sentences for you. There are several hundred thousand paraplegics in the U.S. alone with millions more worldwide. 10,000 crippling accidents occur in America annually where victims become permanently disabled to the point of complete paralysis. Scientists believe that this latest technology will be instrumental in allowing these challenged individuals a ray of hope in contributing positively to their lives and society at large. What other applications does this technology have? It has application in wearable computers, uh, PDAs, heads-up displays for automobiles or aircraft, video games, uh, computer shows, uh, and many things we probably haven't thought of yet. What about potential of entry into the job market for a disabled person? Well, it is an excellent tool there because it truly gives you complete control over your computer. Not only can you uh, type words and paragraphs, you could even do computer-aided design and drafting with it. Uh, you can gather information on the internet. Pretty much anything you can do with your computer uh, someone could do using only their eyes. Will this help someone who has a repetitive strain injury from using a keyboard or a mouse? Absolutely. In fact, uh, that's how I initially got into this. Uh, I have a repetitive strain injury in both arms and initially I developed this device for myself. If you combine it with um, voice dictation software, then you can work completely hands-free and be quite efficient. What other products are you working on? We're working on making our products more affordable, easier to use, and we're currently we are about to release a version for laptop computers. We're also working on a product that will go on a head-mounted display, and we're working on a product that will allow for more head motion, be easier to use. We feel that these new products will bring the technology more into the mainstream. It seems from our research that it is likely that this technology may become standard on all computers, whether used by the disabled or the military and even NASA, or for simply surfing the net. This remarkable technology is one indication of the future of computers and computer-enabled machinery. 
We've also learned that the automotive industry is reviewing this technology seriously for applications we've only previously dreamed of. From Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Lisa Ochtenhagen with Business World News.